Knowing that load P is 5.2 kN and that the elastic modulus is 200 GPa, what is the factor of safety against buckling for the structure shown? This is the first example for the column buckling main video. The link to that main video and the other examples are linked in the description below. As mentioned in that main video, the factor of safety is defined as the critical load over the current load. We can calculate a factor of safety for member AB and one for member BC. The actual loads that go into members AB and BC can be found by using the method of joints at location B. Internal loads of members are usually assumed to be in tension so that when solving for their values, positive is tension and negative is compression. However, since this is a buckling problem and we know that these members are under compression, the force vectors for AB and CB already reflect that compression. The 70 degree angle was given and because of the 1.2 meter dimensions, we know that the angle for PCB is 45. A sum of forces in X allows us to find the value for PCB and a sum of forces in Y for PAB. The critical loads for each case can be found using Euler's formula. With a second moment of area I of pi over 4 times r to the fourth, we can substitute all values to find those critical loads. Substituting the internal forces of AB and BC, we see that the smallest factor of safety and therefore the one that governs is 2.27. Notice that member AC is under tension and therefore it's not subjected to buckling. For more 2-minute examples on column buckling, as well as the 10-minute videos of the other topics of the Mechanics of Materials course, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.